Here we go. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, this is fun. Oh, great hanging Aaron. with you guys. Yeah, seriously. So Good to came. see you. Thank you. Yeah. See you guys soon. Good see luck with soon. everything. Thanks, Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Hey guys, good morning. How's it going? We're spending the day in New York. We ditched the van, which feels very naked and vulnerable and exposed. The van is with my family in a little small town, an hour outside the city. We left Frank with them also. They're having a, a little play date with the dog today while we get to explore the city. So we're feeling like home alone. Lost kids just wandering around. It's pretty fun. Somebody offered up an apartment for us to stay in. So we're actually gonna be here for two days we get to stay in a really cool apartment and we get to explore the city. It's like best case scenario. It's like a vacation. I'm excited. Oh. Wow. We decided to buy tickets to one of the big bus tours so we didn't have to walk all through New York. We could sit and ride on the top of a bus where it's pretty cold. But we're getting to see a lot of stuff that it would take us all day to walk around and check out. So it's pretty exciting. I've been to New York a million times and I've never done one of these touristy bus tours. So I was like, yeah, why not? Let's, let's see what it's all about. It's cool. It's cool, it's cool but it's cold. <laughs> I'm digging it. Downtown. Downtown. What is this? This is a trans childhood passion. Wow. <laughs> it's uh, the building that they used for the filming of Friends, or at least the outside of the building. Cool mm. though, huh? Well, it's really cool to see a place like that that has some nostalgia wrapped around it, even if Friends didn't actually take place there. It's a cool monument. It is. I always hate wearing a backpack in like crowded areas like this because I feel like an asshole because like my body is skinny but my backpack is wide and has a tripod hanging on the side of it. So I try to like shoot these tiny gaps that my body fits through and then I just like smash old ladies with my tripod and hit people and it just makes me feel like a jerk. But I do it for you guys. I'm getting bagels for you guys too. Murray's bagels. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Thank you. This is actually the New York City AIDS Memorial Park. It is. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's Everywhere nice. you go is another landmark, another historic area. There's just so much going on in yeah. New York that like you just can't even comprehend it all. It's like a zoo. It's bustling. It's a human zoo. It's really cool, I love it. All right, so a lot of you guys are probably wondering, what is it like with apartment life in the city versus van life? Kind of what are the pros and cons? It's really nice to have your van, obviously, because your home is with you, all your clothes are with you, you have a bathroom. It's like a huge problem here or in cities of this size is like finding public bathrooms where they'll let you go to the bathroom. Without buying something, yeah. Which is like a huge pain in the butt yeah. when you've got to pee really bad. There's but something to be said, like obviously there's a ton of traffic here. Driving is just a nightmare in general, especially in a huge van. So that's like one perk of obviously like being able to walk around. 
but it's huge not having all your stuff with you like we normally are yeah. used to. I would really love to have the van here, yeah. but I wouldn't want to drive it. Right. I wouldn't want to have to park it. I wouldn't want to have to try and take Frank to find a tiny little patch of grass. Cause yeah, for sure. There's grass, nowhere. Grass like, pretty much doesn't exist. There are a ton of dogs. In this There's a lot of dogs, but they're trained to go to the bathroom on a sidewalk. Yeah, Frank is not. <laughs> so there's just all these pros and cons, but there is something that's cool about living in like a little New York City apartment and taking public transit, yeah. meeting up with friends at the coffee shop or the, the bar and like the options are just endless of like restaurants and food and it's fun. everything is, it's a totally different world, yeah. but I don't know about you, there is no way I would ever give up the van or the freedom that it represents or the options that we have while living in the van. Yeah to get an apartment in New York City. Even if somebody gave me Ooh, an apartment in New York City, really? I would not trade it for the van. That would be a tough decision for me to make. New a York lot City. Of the ways we adventure are outdoors. Exactly. Exploring like mountains or forests or oceans. So there's obviously none of that in the city. It's a totally different vibe and it's a totally different lifestyle in the city. Yeah. But I still think it's fun and exciting. It's yeah. just, you like all Fun and exciting. Wow, Trent. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> uh, it's really crazy here. Oh, check this out. Okay. Mm. That's a one wheel. They're like the competitors of the boosted board, so I just felt the need to <laughs> record him. But anyway, I think even at this point, I could say I prefer van life well over apartment life in New York City. We're gonna head over to the High Line, check out some shops. It's an old railroad track that's above ground yep. that they've actually turned into a walking path. So it's supposed to be really cool, so. Look at Trent being a tour guide. We'll pick city. you up when we get there. Wow. Now we're just in a garden above the city. It's really cool because we're on this like raised up platform and there's trees everywhere. And then if you look, the old railroad tracks still run in between here. Nice, there's restaurants and shops all along the route. I think it's like a three mile track that you can walk. One of the things that I think sucks about New York or about the apartment life, this is like kind of one of the spaces you go to to have like green space. It's just like it's still definitely part of the city. Super crowded. You got to go to Central Park, I think, if you want to have any kind of alone time or space. And even there, I think it's still kind of crowded, especially when it's nice weather outside. So we've had a pretty lengthy walk on the High Line. We are going to jump off the High Line, take a subway all the way down to the Brooklyn Bridge, hop on some city bikes. We're gonna bike the Brooklyn Bridge, and then we're gonna do a little bit of exploring in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Very excited. So we're just gonna bike to the Brooklyn Bridge. That's our first endeavor. Then we're gonna, this, Trent said this is my bike. This is Allie's bike. <laughs> and then we're gonna bike over the Brooklyn Bridge. And we're pedaling up to the Brooklyn Bridge. NYPD. A little bit of a nightmare here in everybody's way and no one is happy with whatever you're doing, no matter what you're doing. Oh, for sure. Everyone's just yelling at you. It doesn't matter if you're walking, biking, you're in the way, yeah. regardless. And that's just the way it is. So we got across the bridge, we docked the bikes, and now we're just over here in Brooklyn. I think it's like 4.30, which sounds early, but the sun is starting to set a little bit. It's like a crisp, cool breeze. People are just walking around, having picnics, hanging out. It's really nice. Dumbo's a really cool spot. Yeah. I could for sure get into city life. The only thing is at the end of like this beautiful experience, you have to go home. Whereas with the van, you're already home. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna enjoy it for a little bit longer, but we're definitely, I think, both at this point looking forward to just getting back to the van. And uh, it's just like what's more comfortable for us at this point. Now we're missing Frank. We really miss Frank. <laughs> oh 
my goodness. All right, guys. We're back, and look what we found. Look what we found. Cranker boy. Oh, can you see this dog? Hello. Can you see this oh, cute yes. dog? Oh. Uh, exploring the city is fun, but hanging out with my puppy is much better. Much better. And now that we're back to the van, we feel nice and cozy at home. There's we hang really, out with Frank. There's like a real feeling of like, ah, my my home. It's nice to be home. Yeah, we have a saying for that. What is it? There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Even if it's a van. We're so stoked to be back. We had a great time in New York City, but there's no place like home. So true. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. If you guys liked it, could you please hit the thumbs up button. Go ahead and subscribe to Trent and Alley if you're not already. Maybe even click that little notification bell next to the subscribe button. Get the noties going. Yeah. Get those noties going. Why not? And we'll see you guys on the next one. Talk to you soon. Love you guys.